stuck at home, you want to be practicing your drums, but you've got no access to a kit, the Kuda of Rock is here to help. Hi my Kite, Kuda of Rock. It's about time I did something for drummers. So, you started learning the drums, you got down those first beats, but you don't have drums at home to practice. What can you do? Well, you guessed it. We're going to start using a good old trusty buckets. Here's the first basic beat that we want to work on. Okay, that's one of the things we've been practicing at school. So, how do you do that on buckets? Let's take a look. This one is going to be the hi-hat. This one is going to be the snare. And unfortunately, this is the hard part, your foot and the ground are going to have to be the bass drum. Okay, so we've got our start. One, two, three, four, one. So there it is, nice and easy. The key thing is to make sure you get that foot going. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, same beat, except we're going to use the ride cymbal. Okay, so here we go. We'll start off, start off on the hi hat, and then move to the, then move to the ride. Our next step is to bring in the ride cymbal. That's the one at the top of the screen here. So just like on with the drums, we'll start on the hi-hat and we'll move to the ride. So there you have it. Once again, the tricky thing is making sure you keep your bass drums going with your foot. We're going to use the floor tom. So once again, very similar. Same beat, but we're using the floor tom and we'll start again on the hi-hat. So let's check out how we can do that on the buckets. Now I've added another bucket. This is going to be the floor tom just over, just over here. So once again, just like the previous video, we'll start on the hi-hat and move to the floor tom. Once you're happy with that, go around the whole drum kit. Remember, the big thing is to make sure this stays your snare, so it's your left hand. Okay, don't just play them as buckets and boom, boom, boom all over the place and stuff like that. You want to practice for a set of drums. So you've got to imagine they are drums. So really important, this stays your snare and generally you're playing with your left hand. Okay, so let's have a try and once again, I'll just in case you can't see the foot, I'll over exaggerate it. Finally, it's important to make sure your practice has a point. So it's always good to play along with something. And in this case, I'm going to choose Michael Jackson's Billie Jean because it's got a nice strong beat. You can especially hear where the kick drum goes in. And that's the important part because you want to be working on getting your leg right and in time. So let's give it a try. I know I've spoke a lot about getting that bass drum right and it's, it's hard because 
you can make a bucket for everything else but it's pretty hard to do it for the kick drum so I've come up with all sorts of different but not really very good ways of trying to do that at a cheap method um, so I've done something like this where you can see the idea is that you could click it up and down but it doesn't particularly work very satisfactorily I've also tried to they're actually with um, wooden clogs, jangles or something like that I put a hinge to them, you can put your foot in there put some metal on the end of it so it makes a bit of a crack like that or try it onto a piece of wood once again it didn't work particularly well so a challenge for you guys at home see if you come up with something that works just as well as a bass drum which doesn't cost anything or cost very little you know you can always tip a bucket on one side and kick it but it's not giving your foot that motion which what you which is what you really want to get going and make your muscles remember how to work it another tip if everyone at home is complaining about you banging on buckets and making too much noise you can always place a bit of vinyl um, I cut this out from some lino or here's from some carpet the head lying around and sticking that over the drums it makes it a little bit quieter here, we'll, let's try the difference. That's without. Now with. Not a whole heap of difference, but when you've got people complaining about it's noisy, at least you're showing that you're doing something about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. So make sure you get in there and practice. Do the best as you can with what you've got. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. If you find it useful, please click a like and share with others and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can receive more of the latest releases.